young man many, many moons ago. The big thing growing up was video stores, mom and pop video stores, more or less because the big chains hadn't necessarily invaded my area yet. And my family used to always rent movies and they would do the very probably illegal act of dubbing the tape onto a blank VHS tape. One of the primary titles that they uh, did this to that we watched all the time was The Hitcher. And that brings us to this movie today on 4K Ultra HD, fresh from Warner Brothers. Um, now, this movie to me is nostalgic. So I'm a little biased toward it, although I do think it's a great movie. Um, this thing was released recently from Second Sight Films on a 4K release, a very nice 4K release. And they sent me everything to review, but they told me that they could not send me that because they were legally obligated not to promote it in the United States. So... That made me believe that they were probably going to put the hitcher out from Arrow or Stream Factor or something like that. But instead, Warner kind of does it on their own demand service themselves, which is interesting. But here it is. It's on this. And if you're wanting a Blu-ray, we also have a Blu-ray copy of it as well. But um, the thing is, this thing looks great. It looks pristine. It looks better than I've ever seen it look. And, of course, I had the primarily after my... Uh, use was over and I got to, to my teenage years I got my uh, trusty little snap case DVD of it that I watched but <laughs> here we have this on 4k looks great if you've never seen it uh, this kid's driving to deliver a car it's like a car service thing he's going to California picks up a hitcher on the side of the road and immediately the hitcher is getting crazy and doing weird stuff threatening his life he throws him out of there and thus, the rest of the movie is basically a cat and mouse game where the hitcher is following him in the other cars. He sees him in cars with other people. He sees the aftermath of what he's done to those people in the cars. And then eventually, J Jennifer Jason Lee's character uh, comes into play. And she looks like a very... Like, when she was very young, she looked like Tony Storm a little bit from AEW. <laughs> but she gets involved in it. And there's an iconic moment with the semi-truck that I don't want to spoil if y'all have not seen it. And then, um, you know, he gets blamed for a lot of the murders and the cops are after him. And he's trying to prove that, you know, he's not the guy doing it. It's the hitchhiker. But the guy has took his ID and everything. It's great. Rugger Howard plays the hitcher. Great performance. Grand performance. Uh, it's a very eerie movie. It's a road movie. It's a horror movie. It's a thriller. It's very eerie. And because of all that, I give it a 4 out of 5. It's almost perfect to me. I think if they'd put a little more gore in it, it would have been perfect. But then maybe not, because then again, the remake had more gore in it, and it was worse. But <laughs> great movie, 4 out of 5. Now, if you get the um, the 4K here, you're going to see that you're going to receive the archive commentary with director Robert Harmon and writer Eric Red, and then a Bulls interview with director Robert Harmon and the theatrical trailer. That is on the disc, because this is a one-disc 4K set. So that will be on the disc. Uh, the Blu-ray you know, has Blu-ray quality, not 4K quality, has the same extras, different different background, though. The backgrounds are different. They, they wanted to point out that this is 4K, so they changed the back of it. Uh, the covers are the same. But another odd difference they did on the 4K and the Blu-ray is the Hitcher is in yellow on the Blu-ray release while it's in the more eye-friendly white on the 4K. So, yeah, this thing, if you've never seen it, see it. It's great. Maybe don't watch part two, but... <laughs> If, you want, if you've never seen The Hitcher, you owe it to yourself to get to get this movie. And especially if you're a 4K fan, get it because it looks great. Blu-ray looks great, too. I mean, this thing, we had this on like bootlegs and DVD for years. So, obviously, it's good. But this is probably the way to go. Great movie. Great release. Glad it's finally here. One of my favorite movies growing up. Check it out.